Now to the fallout from that surprising vote to uphold abortions rights in Kansas. The vote is already having implications far beyond Kansas. ABC's M. Nguyen has more. This morning, Republicans are warning against drawing conclusions after the commanding victory for abortion rights in Kansas. I was absolutely surprised and I have no explanation and um, and again, it was just a gut punch. That's all I can tell you. Voters in traditionally conservative Kansas overwhelmingly voted to protect abortion rights by rejecting a ballot measure Tuesday, turning out in record numbers for a summer primary election. The outcome suggests the threat to abortion rights could energize voters in the November midterm elections, possibly giving Democrats momentum in congressional races. But Senator Roger Marshall of Kansas is convinced voters will have other things on their mind in November. I think voters come November will be very focused on the cost of gasoline and groceries and, and, and rent. That's all I hear about. My whole life's been about protecting the life of moms and babies, and, and I, I think that this was a step away from that. Uh, but nevertheless, I respect the process. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell appears to be expressing less optimism. McConnell previously predicted the November midterms would be very good for Republicans, but seemed to manage expectations during his appearance on Fox News last night. I think it's going to be a very tight, we have a 50-50 Senate now, we have a 50-50 nation, and I think when this Senate race smoke clears, we're likely to have a very, very close Senate still with either us up slightly or the Democrats up slightly. In a new statement last night, President Biden said Americans are going to vote to reclaim the rights that the extreme Supreme Court has taken away from us. M. Wen, ABC News, Washington.